Good evening, everyone. We continue nine on your side at five with the city of Norwood at a crossroads. More than a dozen officers need new bulletproof vests, but the city is well, it's having trouble paying its bills. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is looking into the safety concern for the officers there and the next step as well. Tom? Well, that next step is in about two and a half hours, leaders of Norwood police are going to go before city council asking for 17 vests similar to this to help keep their officers safe. If they don't get them, there could be some changes in policing very soon. Don't leave home without it. Those are the words Norwood police officer and FOP president Craig Spilly uses every day when he puts on his body armor. I've got a wife and three kids at home, and I'd like to make sure I see them in the morning when they're getting up and I'm going to bed. All of Norwood's 50 sworn personnel wear the body armor, but 17 of those vests are five years old and nearing the end of their warranty in August. After that, the manufacturer won't guarantee them, and that could produce some big changes within the department. Uh, the chief has stated that no officer uh, with an expired vest will perform any patrol functions. So nine patrolmen in patrol will be assigned to desk duty. So we'll have to supplement that by pulling from our available administrative spots or criminal investigation section or the drug unit. That means citizens will still be safe, but there won't necessarily be detectives working on cases. You know, if you've got something stolen that they could probably find for you, it's going to be delayed until we can get them back in our office. The vest will stop bullets from most handguns, according to Stan Worthington, a premier shooting and tactical in Westchester. However, he says over time, they can simply wear out and not be safe. How they come up with the shelf life is how often you wear. An officer wears a vest 40 hours a week or more. He's in and out of the car, up and down body perspiration, that all takes wear and tear on the shelf life. Norwood has serious financial issues right now. It's only paying salaries, health insurance, and pension expenses. The backlog of unpaid bills is $2 million stretching back into March. Paying a late fee on a bill I think is a little uh, lower on the priority list than any officer's life that works here. Of course, Norwood finished 2015 with a $500,000 deficit, and while new development has meant that earnings tax increases or income has risen the first six months of this year, it's not enough to offset that difference. I contacted Mayor Tom Williams' office and council members as well, but they all declined comment at this time. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Norwood.